I thought today was a really good practice. Um, you challenged our guys, you know, after last Tuesday, how you come off a scrimmage. And I thought, you know, going back, watching the scrimmage, um, you know, it was, it was good to see, you know, a lot of the progress, the steps that are being taken, um, you know, defensively, the, as, as we went back and watched it, I mean, there's a, a lot of great, you know, explosive plays that were being made, created some negative plays, um, you know, we're able to uh, get some takeaways, Offensively, um, you go back and watching the film. There's a lot of uh, situational things that were that went well. Uh, it's probably one of our best uh, you know, scrimmages there on on third down situations. Being able to, but the negative the negatives really hurt us throughout, and we weren't, weren't able to sustain with the first offense. Um, you know what we want. To, you know to, to to be able to go, and that didn't allow the explosive play with the first group. Um, I thought the second group. You know they were able to do that at a, at a much higher rate, and. Uh, uh, you know, and that's that's something that you know we're playing a lot of guys in that in that second group there defensively. It's getting some great reps, great opportunities, and then to see them come out today, um, you know, the challenge off of last week. You know, last Tuesday was probably the probably the the least intense practice that we've had. Um, I thought they responded well Thursday, responded well in the scrimmage, but today, you know, I didn't think we were lacking any intensity. Um, you know, you put in some some situational work, some last play. Uh, you know, things there at the at the end of uh, practice. I thought offensively, I started off really well. Um, you know, early in practice, I thought defense uh, defense definitely responded. You know, we got a lot of red zone. Um, you, know, you know, and like I said, different different situations that uh, I thought all in all is a really good day. Uh, you know, some guys that are getting more reps as as the springs you know kind of going through, and uh, you know, just trying to bring them all along. Yeah, you know, I think you know, he's he's someone with his size, and his athleticism, you know, the strength that he has. I mean, he's he's got an opportunity to really, um, you know, be a big impact for us. And you know, I think we've seen some some very positive strides here this spring. Um, you know, he was limited there early. You know, as he's kind of got to the back part of it, you know, he's he's uh, definitely making his presence felt. Uh, you're seeing growth. You're seeing that development. And so, you know, I'm excited about what he brings to that group. I, I think. Yeah, that's probably one of the, the deepest groups we have on the on the team. Looking at that defensive tackle uh, position, you know, and, and really excited about the young guys. But uh, you're seeing you know seeing Jarrett and his confidence that he's building. Um, you know, I, th I think he I think he's got a huge uh, huge upside, and we're starting to see that consistency really showing up. You know, I think Jamie's had a really good spring uh, throughout this, you know, the, the off-season program. Um, you know, you see the ownership of, of responsibility. And, you know, when you're first-team all-conference player, um, you know, there's high expectations. And, you know, I've seen a, uh, a much more mature, not, I mean, the, the growth of being in a, in, a, in a program for two years and really the confidence in – you know, when you're when you're new, sometimes you're a little little hesitant on what you want to say or what you're going to do, and and you see that maturity just of time within the program and and the ownership of uh, of what he brings. And you know he's he, you know he's been limited this probably the last week and a half, two weeks. And today, you know he was you know, we we got him out there and got more work out of him. Um, and you know he definitely was he was flying flying all around the field, a pass game, run game. I mean it was he, he definitely had to you know. Let his presence be felt, and uh, you know I'm really excited about where he's going and what he can mean to not only the defense but this football team as uh, as as he continues to take those steps. But really pleased with uh, with his overall development. Have you seen enough out of the team in these last two weeks to where it's not just flashes? No, he's playing. Came's playing really good ball. I mean, it's uh, you know he had a couple couple great plays again today. Um, it's that you know, it's that, that consistency and confidence that has to show up. You know, the uh, you know whether it's in communication, whether it's uh, you know just uh, um, you know the anticipation of of what's about to occur. But I mean, you know, you look at what he did in the scrimmage. I mean, he's a he, he's a playmaker, and I mean that's that's something that he, he's playing as confident as he's ever been. You know, here at Florida State, and uh, you know it's it, it's exciting to see see that growth. Guys, 
Uh, it's a it's a mix. I mean, we've got some guys that, that are very limited. You know, we've had a couple guys that uh, um, you know we're working through you know you know working through things um, you know just in, in in their availability. So um, you know we, it, it gives us you know kind of a forced opportunity to look at uh, you know different options. We've tried to do that throughout the course of the spring. Um, you know, we've got some newcomers like with Bless with Caden that we don't want to you know put too much on too quick. I mean, those guys are are experienced players, but it's still a whole new you know, language. And, um, you know, there's probably some things we would do day to day shuffling that, um, you know, we will get to. And I, I don't want to slow their progress of what I've seen. Um, and then, you know, you take some of the newcomers. I mean, you got, you got three, you know, three guys that uh, you know, just started, um, you, know, you know, just started here this spring. And so, you know, trying to bring them along. And I've seen some great strides from some of those young offensive linemen and, you know, guys that have been here that, you know, we've moved around to different positions just to, to try to get that best group. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about their development, but, you know, we're still looking for that consistency. And that's hard when you have guys that are, that are in and out and, and availability. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely coming. He's definitely moving much better, you know, and, and you know, he's taking uh, real ownership in his flexibility, um, you know, making sure that they're trying to have a, uh, you know, trying to do a really good job with his, the, the, his weight, his strength conditioning, all those things that, um, you know, that you're, you're seeing that the condition level get better, but also just his overall movements and explosiveness. He, I mean, he's always been a hard hitter. I mean, and that's, you know, but now you're seeing that game really be able to expand to, you know, being better in coverage, being able to, to be in phase and, and, and a lot of, and that's also some, you know, just in confidence of what you're being asked to do as well. Um, you know, as, as he's grown and as he's been put, um, you know, you know, in this defense and the things that he's being asked to do, you know, understanding the techniques, understanding uh, what he's trying to take away, that he's playing much faster uh, in those situations and the reactions off of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think they're playing, they're playing like how we need them to play, and uh, you know, you have a lot of production returning. Um, you know, I think the newcomers that we brought in are. You know, I think they're exceptional. I mean, I really, I really do. I mean, you look at, uh, you know, all every guy that we brought in on that side, I, I believe is going to be a, a great impact. And you're seeing the development. Um, you take the linebacker. I mean, right now we got, um, you know, of guys that played. You got Amari, uh, you know, Kalen, you DJ that played a lot of snaps this last year. And then you throw Tatum into into that mix, and all those guys got better. And Tatum, you know, just the playmaker that he is, what that brings linebacker room. Omar Graham that's coming in competing. Steven Dix that's, that's really working, I think, is moving better. Um, you know, and, and looking at some other young guys that, you know, maybe, tra you know, change positions, you know, there to linebacker. And, and then they're taking taking proper, proper steps. Um, but you you see that growth. You know, we talked about the defensive, the defensive front. or We talked about them a lot throughout spring practice. Uh, you know, that has to be a – you know, a stronghold for this defense. And, you know, with all the guys in the back end and, you know, being able to add some, you know, really good young, uh, you know, young guys. And, you know, I think Grady's done a really nice job uh, as a newcomer in the, in the defense. You know, there's so much competition. But what I like, I, I like the energy. I like the encouragement. I like the, the, uh, the steps that are being taken in their communication. It's just, you know, that mindset of, um, of, of how we need to play. And I think, you know, I think you're seeing those strides throughout the course of spring. I have. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be very similar. It's going to be offensive defense set up. We're not going to. We're not going to break into two teams. Um, you know, separate teams. But it's going to be an offense. Offense defense set up. You know, we're going to get. We're going to get good on good work. And uh, um, you know, we'll break it up. Very. It's going to be very similar to last year. Um, so we're going to be game situation um, in, in how we operate and how we flow. And you know, then we'll have some fun things that we're going to do. Uh, you know, throughout. Curious, Washington, a guy that you plan on having. Available for Saturday or, or during workout? No, yes, not. Um, we'll see where it's where it's out at uh, here this week. But uh, you definitely, um, you guys get get bumps and bruises throughout, and so we'll we'll see where that uh, where that goes. You know, you know, he'll probably be out for the Saturday, but uh, we'll definitely, you know, definitely have him back as we get rolling here this summer. Mike, we asked you about uh, Winston a couple weeks ago. Is he in town now? Is he able to 
Yeah, he is. He's been in. He's been in meetings. He's been, uh, uh, you know, doing a really good job. You know, just continuing on his on his rehab. Uh, excited about, uh, uh, you know, just having him here. And you know, but he's he's in there. He's making sure he's getting his mental reps. Uh, you know, he's, it, it's like I said. It, uh, I know I stressed the uh, just how grateful I was, and the day that he got back into Tallahassee, and it was a. It was a real joy, and you know, I think it got one day to get settled, and then all of a sudden there he was, you know, back in meetings, learning, and uh, you know he's uh, he's excited about his return as well. No, I think they've done a really nice job. I think that uh, you see the playmaking ability. Um, you know, it's the it's the details that just need the continued repetition. And we ask we ask our receivers uh, to do quite a bit. And uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of conceptual learning. There's a lot of the details of of um, you know adjustments that could happen. You know, play in and play out. But uh, you know, these guys are really smart. Uh, they work really hard. They they, they have great skill sets. And excited to see what they're going to bring uh, you know, as we continue to move forward.